Okay, let's try this Pyromania build out. For those who are unaware of what Pyromania is, because you probably never see any Imani player use it, because you probably never see Imani players, to be fair. Nobody plays this champion, unfortunately, because bugs. Even though she's quite fun, in my opinion. Uh, Pyromania makes your fireballs explode in a 20-unit radius, which is a pretty good radius. But the damage of Pyroball, when fully charged, is reduced to 800. So you're nerfing your damage by 200. Basically making each of these do the same amount of damage as a Frost Bomb. And that's really bad. Uh, let me go to the wiki so we can look up her fire rate real quick. Uh, Paladin Skimpedia. Yes, I have an EV background. No, I'm not ashamed of it. Uh, Imani. Alright. Whoa. That's a large summary. Okay. So, after charging for 1.2 seconds, she does 1,000 damage. So if you were to get the calculator out... Right, 1,000 over 1 1.2 seconds is 833 DPS. So at base, Imani's Pyroballs do a smidge more DPS than Torvald. The only advantage they have is the burst. So if you have one pre-charged up, right. you peek the corner, someone's there, you shoot them, that's 1,000 damage. Charge it up 1.2 seconds later, shoot them again, that's 2,000 damage. So that's the one advantage they have going for them. However, 800 over 1.2 seconds is Frost the same DPS as Willow, but without the dead zone. Heed my core. <laughs> It's, it's bad. That's basically it. <laughs> so if you ever wanted to play Imani but have Willow's weapon but even more unwieldy to use, uh, there you go. That's Pyromania for you. Also, yes, don't worry about the black screen. There it is. It's back now. Perfect. All right, perfect. Yay. All right. So let's just try this out. We're on Bazaar as well. Um, and that's a very high level IO behind me. Level 410. Uh, they, luckily they have a Vivian. Pyromania actually does have an advantage against Vivian because when she ults, I can hit her ult drones, and when she puts her shield up, I have an easy time hitting her. There are definitely advantages to having the AoE, that's undeniable, but if they want to make Pyromania good, they should remove the 200 damage nerf and just make it a flat, here's your AoE. For my people, Enjoy. I will that would be good. Things. That'd be really good. Because then she would still have slightly more DPS than Willow. Oh. Slightly less DPS than someone like Bomb King or Drogos, but she would have that explosion, which would be very nice. Coupled with the other utility that Imani has that differentiates her from blasters, such as being able to root. Which, I think next patch, actually, she'll be the only character to root, because Deep Roots will be removed. Right? Unless I'm forgetting somebody. Anyways, Pyromania. Uh, this. And... Here we go. Does these even have an explosion effect on them? <laughs> That's kind of small. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's get uh, some cards. There we go. Alright. Let's go up here. We Go for the Inferno Cannon. Oh, there goes you already. They forgot how to look up. Alright, you're dead. That's great. We kind of just wiped that team there. Holy crap. <laughs> and that route was very juicy. Ash is completely silent. Alright. Yeah, look at that. Full charge shot doing less damage... Less than 800 damage against these guys because they bought Haven. See, that's another really huge factor as to why you don't want to pick this talent with Imani. Is well, first of all, that was that was nice. See, the AOE is nice. Let me. The AOE is good. <laughs> I'm all for the AOE. But like, Imani's DPS gets way worse when the enemies buy Haven, and even when they buy Veteran, it takes you know a lot longer to kill somebody. And then you're just choosing to make it even harder on yourself, right? Like, Pyromania nerfs your damage by 20%. It literally nerfs your damage for more than Haven 3 does. Or very similar to Haven 3 does, anyways. And then you add Haven 3 on top of that. And any other DR cards that they might have. It's pain. It's very pain. Okay, let me get some Tronos Dose. And we're dying, so we need to fall back and group up. Oh my, Octavia, stop killing our team, please. Frost, I'm going to transplant some of these out here. Long range powerballs, go! Eh. There's 500 damage. There's 500 damage, I cannot see. I've been revealed. It would not be smart for me to ult here, then. I do have the dragon, though, so... We can use that. But I'm going to have to use it sooner rather than later if I want it back for the cap. Holy damage. Oh, well, thanks, Grover. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where those reveals were coming from. Doesn't matter, though. We're away from it. 
Yeah, I think I'll just save my ult for the next cap. We got a minute left. I don't know if I can build ult fast enough. This is a really quiet game, by the way. Like, I don't know how many of them are sound bugged right now, but like... Oh! Silent Ashel, very fun. Yeah, it seems like a lot of them are sound bugged, because... It's eerily quiet. We as Sent you a friend request? I am not going to accept it. I do not accept friend requests. I used to accept friend requests from every single person who sent me one until I reached a thousand. Uh, and then that was literally the limit I couldn't accept anymore. And it just lagged my game so hard. Like, it's really not good for performance. Especially when, like, oh! Especially when you spend so much time in the social tab as I do, you know, inviting people to parties and stuff. Like, it's so laggy. Like, whenever I would open the social tab, it would take a good few seconds for everything to load. And I would just get so many updates and notifications people going on and offline. It, it's just not good. Oh, apparently the Vivian's ulting. Yeah, the Vivian's sound bug as well. But yeah, at least we can hit both of our ult rooms. There we go, she's dead. Good. Alright. Let's go up. Let's use one of these, and then let's realize I can't hit the Ash, so I'll switch and root her. Haha. -ha. Let's use Ice Stance for a bit. Uh, I think Ice Stance has more damage than Pyromania. More DPS, anyways. Whoa, holy Octavia damage. Dude, this Octavia gotta chill. Why does she do so much damage, man? <coughs> oh, oh. Got IRL stunned. Good thing that didn't happen when I was fighting someone. Trying to push this in overtime, though. Octavia brought out ult. BK is dead. Uh, Grover brought out ult. And we failed the push. Alright, unfortunate. He only accepts if you date him. Yes, that's why I have 160 friend requests, because I'm dating 160 people at the same time. <laughs> okay, let me see. Uh, Imani. Paladin's wiki. Okay, so Frost is 410 every 0.5 seconds. Easy math. That's 820 DPS. So Ice Stance actually does a, almost the same DPS as Pyroball by default, but a little bit less. And then, yeah, with Imani, or uh, with uh, Pyromania... Ice Stance does more DPS. But neither is particularly great Five, DPS. Four, three, two, <laughs> like, Imani has two problems in the current meta. First, her DPS isn't exactly that great. So she gets out DPSed very heavily by people like Octavia, Cassie, Leon, etc. Sati. But then also, I haven't experienced much of this recently, but I know it happens still. Uh, Inferno Cannon will sometimes just bug. You press it. And you do the flying, but you don't do the damage. I'm just like, why? What happened? Ooh, we killed him with that. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna use this for reinforcements. Hello. Alright. Where's that ash? Yeah, I know you're coming after me. I'm just gonna roast you. Oh, you ulted. I had no idea because I couldn't hear it. <laughs> Sunbug, very pog. Very pogger champion. Ah, he dodged it. Alright. Let's go back to Fire Stance with this Vivian here. Ah! Oh, I missed. Alright, I'm gonna go... over here. I was gonna Inferno Cane on the Vivian, but that turned out to be a bad idea. Oh, Clutch Fernando Ult. Thank you so much. Oh, you're beautiful. And the girl he goes. You'll love to see it. Alright, I'm literally just gonna Ice Stance this, because <laughs> it's actually just more DPS. Hello, get rooted. Ah! No, I did it! Ah. Unfortunate. Alright, let's get Chronos 3. Octavia will do more at the new patch? Actually, she'll do less at the new patch. She'll do more at range, but her actual just base DPS is going down by like 25 per shot or something like that. Which is good, because her, her DPS is kind of really good at the moment. Where's that Koga? I want to light him on fire. There's a whole Octavia ult coming now. Oh, use this for the DPS. Hopefully it'll scare him off. Yes, it scared him off. Alright, I'm getting out of here. I'm leaving this establishment at once. Goodbye. Uh, hello. Thank you, Grover. Hello. Ah, she's running away, yeah. Uh, Alright, we all lost that, unfortunately. I'm just... I feel like I'm tickling these guys. Like, I really don't feel like I'm playing a damage character. I feel like I'm trying to play a damage support, but without the healing. <laughs> like, maybe if the Ice Stance was faster, that'd be a fun way to buff its CPS. Uh, 
Can't see any of the bad guys because of that distortion field, but there's a lot of damage on Koga. However, the root didn't hit. I have another dragon. And they have no way to get back here apart from Koga, so I'm just going to do this. Oh yeah, they're fleeing. Ah, Octavia. You tried, but you failed, and now I'm going to kill you. <laughs> At least the dragon is fun. And when it works, oh my, does it work. Hello. There's the Tripski. Easy dragon kills. Alright, let's head back up here. I got an Inferno Cannon for somebody. Uh, can't exactly hit her, though. Alright, we'll go for the long-range route. Because why not? And it hit the shield. Alright. Oh. Arvatu's dead. I'm gonna make my way over here. They're all too far away for that. Alright. Well, I have another route. That's fun. So there's the Koga. Long distance route, probably not gonna do anything. Oh, never mind, I killed him. Alright, I will take that. Let's be a bit sneaky. I'm gonna soar up here. Hi-yo! Wow! Alright, well, that was clutch timing on that, but unfortunately for you, you didn't stop me, so. <laughs> You're dead. Wow. Silent Vivian. <laughs> You can see the circle, Andrew. Duh. Yeah, I can see the circle, but like, when there's a big dragon in my face, it's kind of hard to see that at first, you know? It'd be cool if I could just hear it, like I'm supposed to, high res. Yeah, let's get some veterans so I can hopefully tank a little bit harder. Alright. Oh no, BK, you poor soul. Yeah, I'm just gonna back up. Me and Grover are the only ones alive right now, and Grover's about to die, actually. Please like this. Let's go spam some fireballs. Hopefully the AoE will hit something, but it's not. Hello. That didn't kill that? Okay. Let me throw one of these out here. Whoa! Uh... Okay, we got Nando ult for this, and Ash literally just walked off the point and emoted in our face. Okay, so she wasted ult for Nando, I guess technically wasted ult. I mean, it was good on his part until the Ash just gave up. I have to hide one. I don't understand, man. I don't understand. My phone died in his charge, and now I'm back. Welcome back. Did you know that you could troll by picking Pyromania and playing with ice? The donator never said to play with fire. That is true. However, I like my fire stance. I like both stances. I always feel like I just do a bit worse with ice stance. At least when it comes to the ice bolts. But I do like very much frost bombs. It's very nice. Honestly, I'm a bit rusty with Imani. I gotta get more into the mindset of just spamming my abilities more. Because Inferno Cannon does more damage than any of her abilities. And frost bomb is very good. <laughs> it's flat out. Yeah, I've been revealed. Alright, let's break that. And I'm going to go up here, and maybe, just maybe, she won't hear me coming. Yep. I can light the eye on fire, but she is very far away now. And I don't want to get stunned. So let's root her. Uh, okay, let's move away. i going to fly up here. We can actually go through that. Perfect. And there you go. Io's dead. All right, nice. Ash, get back here. That was a nice root. I'm gonna throw another root back here. Hopefully it'll hit her. Actually, she's just dead. Nice. And I think Octavia's a bot. She's missing her title, and yeah, that was very bot-like. Alright, this is a risky old spot. Maybe it'll work. Yep. I was gonna bait them out. Try and get them to come over here and kill me. Now Koga's fearing for his life. Oh, he's ulting. Okay. Die, please. There we go. We got an ult kill. Can we get two? Nah, the Vivian's low, though. Yeah, someone got her. Good. Kill the Octavia. Root. There we go. No knockback. Oh, why am I so slow, dude? Alright. Uh, Root. Missed. Doesn't matter. He's dead. Our Grover's popping off right now. Didn't even go for Rossity. My man's just chilling on the damage, though. There's a little bit of damage. I can kind of hit them be cheeky. Did Octavia get her title back? No, she didn't. Okay, maybe she wasn't a bot. Maybe she's just being weird. I have no idea, honestly. 
Uh, oh, I can't fly away though. All right, let's get better than three. Let's get even. Time for dad jokes since I'm bored. What's brown and sticky? Chocolate fudge. That did not set in time, and so it's still liquidy as opposed to uh, hardening properly. A stick? Yeah, that works too. Yeah. hi -o. I'm going to kill your dog, if that's alright with you. And then I'm going to root your Koga when you least expect it. Never mind. <laughs> He's low. There we go. I got him. Let's go in. Oh, hi -o. Yo, she ulted that. Alright. I guess I'll take getting her ult down, even though I died. She definitely would have died to that Inferno Cannon if she didn't do that. The problem is, once she gets Haven 3, I'm actually not going to be able to kill her with one full Inferno Cannon. Because it takes the entire thing to kill her as it stands. So, very tough for me. It's a tiny bit of damage. There's a tiny bit of damage. Tiny bit of damage. Tiny bit of damage. We got 15 seconds left. I don't think there's a way we push this. I mean, maybe I can back cap. Probably not, though. I mean, definitely not in overtime, but at least I can touch the point. Yeah, here we go. Hello. Yo, we got an ult out of this guy. I'm gonna die now. BK's coming in hot. Actually, I might not die. I might not. Oh, never mind. I died to a freaking silent dash hook. I wish I'd known that was coming. I would have went to the left, but I can't hear it because this game is flawless. <laughs> okay. Oh, and we failed the push. All right. Unfortunate. Mm. How do you get a country girl's attention? Uh, you yell, yeehaw! Yeehaw, partner, you looking mighty fine today. I'd let you ride my horse anytime. <clears throat> a tractor? Oh, that works too. I mean, that's just that's just how I would do it personally. <laughs> you got all their ults out of them. Yeah, we got so many ults out of them. That's Ash ult, Koga ult, Io ult. I didn't... I don't know if there was an Octavia ult. I wasn't paying attention to that. And, I mean, if Vivian's ult is out, that guy is a better. <laughs> Why are elevator jokes so classic and good? Because they always lift you up. Hey, I really hope that's the answer. If it's not, I'm going to feel stupid. Okay, uh, let's go up this way. And then we're going to go over here. And then we're going to do this. And we're going to light Octavia on fire. And then we're going to root her. And use the power of Fernando to do damage. But I'm still taking all the damage for some reason because I wasn't immortal for some reason. I was not in the radius, I guess. Oh, no. And just like that, all of us are dead. Alright. Uh, I mean, hopefully Fernando will be able to live here, but I don't know. This can be close. Yeah, no, he's dead. Alright. I'm gonna have to use Dragon for retake. Okay, Io's wasting ult. Good. I don't know why she did that, but you do you. Let's go for this now. We're gonna need that early pressure. Where's that reveal from? Okay. Well, they all know where I am. I don't think they can get to me, though. I'm not going to be able to do damage with that, though. They lit it up so hard. Can someone touch? Can someone touch? Okay, we got touch. I'm going to throw a root out. Hi. Holy, I just don't do any damage to these guys, man. They all have at least Haven 2. And I picked the talent that nerfs my damage. That's just a GG, man. That's actually just a GG. Uh, they work on many levels. Oh, that wasn't it. Okay, well. <sighs> that just sucks. This is why you shouldn't go Pyromania. I still somehow managed to get 18 kills. I did better than Arvatu. I have no idea how Arvatu went 6 and 15 there. But, okay. <laughs> I picked the talent that nerfed my damage and I still did best on the team. And I got top damage. You know, for trying to showcase how you shouldn't go Pyromania, I did a really bad job of showcasing how you shouldn't go Pyromania. I guess that's just because I'm too good at Imani. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm something of an Imani player myself, you know? <sighs> but yeah, don't go Pyromania. Like, real talk. <laughs> you, you would do much better as an Imani player if you just picked Mana Rift or Splitting Eyes.
Splitting Ice gives you the AoE without nerfing your DPS. It's just straight up a DPS increase. Let's chain to one other person. Mana Rift just gives you the ability to get those 2k bursts more with your fireballs. Yeah, just don't. Just don't. Just don't do what I did. But anyways, if you guys have enjoyed, then make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload from me. Also, make sure to check out my Twitch channel. I stream regularly on Twitch, so if you want to see me play live, or you just want to ask me some questions, hang out, or even get a chance to play in my party, then go check me out on Twitch. Also, make sure to check out my Discord server. We have a wonderful active community of people who play Paladins, so if you want to go make some friends, Discord is the place to be. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Hey.